There are two ways to make candy cane dreadlocks. The first involves taking your two colors of fiber and backcombing them together. The second involves backcombing our two colors separately. Let's begin our first technique. The main goal of your backcombing is to get your consistency and your stability in here without merging the two colors together. When you get towards the ends, they'll probably merge a little bit and that's okay. You wanna just make sure you're keeping the main body separate up in the interior of your dread. For this first technique, your candy cane pattern will actually emerge when you do the sealing process. The second technique creates a more defined candy cane pattern. To do that, we need to backcomb these two colors independently. Make sure to check your consistency as you backcomb this fiber. With one color complete, switch to the other color. Once you've completed your backcombing, take the two colors and swirl them together. You're going to twist one around the other until you get to the end. Once you get to the ends, backcomb the two fibers together. This will help merge the two fibers so that they don't unravel. We're going to do the same at the top to push those two fibers together. From there, you're ready to seal your dreadlocks. This gives you two different techniques to create your candy cane dreads.